This pressure sensor is so precise that it can eventually detect when a door or window is opened or closed just by sitting somewhere in the room, because the room pressure will change. I want to put that to a test, so if this is working, I will be able to throw away all my annoying door window sensors and replace them with just this. The general idea is the following. I will attach the sensor to an ESP board, then I'll upload some ESP home code configuration, and finally, I'll add the sensor in Home Assistant. From Home Assistant, I'll be able to make all kind of home automations very easily. But before I reach the Home Assistant part, I have to overcome some obstacles. First, I should decide how to wire the sensor and to what board, because I'm using these test clips that can be attached to any board in just a second, I found quickly a working wiring solution. If you are interested into the details, you can get my free PDF that go with this video. Everything is well explained there. I also decided to use an ESP board like this D1 Mini because of the better I2C support. Second, and most tricky obstacle was to find a working ESP home configuration or code, or name it whatever you wish. And to be honest here, this ESP home code has gone through a lot of tiny and not so tiny changes and fine tuning. I think I did over a hundred iterations that includes changing the code, uploading it and performing some tests. And this is still an ongoing process. By the time of seeing this, I may change and improve the code a bit more. So. If you want to get the latest and greatest ESP Home configuration, then get my PDF. I will make sure to keep it updated. And before we go to the meat of this video, I want to share a few more words about that PDF that I mentioned. It is entirely free and you can have it right now by following the link on your screen or by clicking the link in the video description. Then you have to type your name and email address you will receive a confirmation mail where you have to confirm that you're not some kind of a robot and the PDF will be downloaded to your device. Inside the PDF, you will find everything that is needed to make your own temperature and pressure sensor. The links to the needed materials, the wiring, the latest ESP home code with full explanations, how to add the sensor to your home assistant and even some demo home assistant automations and 3D printable cases. By downloading this PDF, you will subscribe to my newsletter where I'll send you weekly updates, news and info about my trainings. It is a free service and if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe at any time with just one click. Now, let me quickly explain what the ESP home code is doing. Again, you can find more details in the PDF. In general, it has a standard configuration for the temperature sensor. Yes, this thing can measure the room temperature as well very nicely, but that is not the focus here. The more important part is below. It updates the pressure sensor every two seconds. It filters the noise with an IIR filter. More on that part later or in the PDF. It compares the current pressure to the previous pressure. And if the difference is large enough, this might indicate that a window or door has been opened or closed. I've also created these two template sensors that help me see if the pressure is stable and is there any active door window events. The main idea behind this optional but useful template sensor is to directly use them in Home Assistant automations and scripts as you'll see later. Now, I'll go back a bit to the IIR filter and immediately afterwards, I'll show you the Home Assistant part so we can see if I will be able to use that pressure sensor instead of a bunch of door and window sensors for the whole room. The IIR filter or Infinity Impulse Response filter may sound complicated, but it is basically a smoothing filter that reduces small movements in the sensor data. The IIR filter is especially useful for air pressure or altitude readings, exactly what we have here. The sensor that I'm using the exact model is BMP390, can produce noisy pressure readings due to tiny vibrations, electrical interference, natural air pressure shifts and more. This IIR filter can help averaging out sudden spikes and giving cleaner, more stable readings. So, what all of that means? Simply by changing the IIR filter setting, I can fine tune the sensor behavior 
so that it can fit well in my room. If there is a lot of movement in the room, like constant walking, turning on and off the AC or kitchen hood for example, and more similar things can affect the readings greatly and I generally may wish to increase the filter setting in such cases and vice versa if the room is quiet like bedroom for example and changes inside happens rarely I may wish to decrease the IR filter value. If you are interested in that part a more detailed explanation can be found in the PDF. Now let me create a simple home assistant automation and test this end to end. The template sensor that I create in ESP Home is my actual home assistant automation trigger. And these are my actions. I'm turning on a light and I'm sending a persistent notification. This is the YAML code of the automation. Very simple, very useful. And this is my test setup. This is the pressure sensor. And when I open the door, after a few seconds, the light is on, as you can see. I'll manually turn it off via my phone and then I'll open another door and the same sensor will turn the lights on again, which is amazing. As a summary, when I put this temperature and pressure sensor in a calm room, it seems that it is working just fine and I can actually stop using other door and window sensors. But if I put it in the kitchen, where the kitchen hood is constantly turning on and off, there is an AC and people are frequently walking around, I can't rely just on this sensor, as it will trigger many false positives. In such a room, I better leave my door and window sensors. There is one more important thing here. If I just want to catch a door or windows opening events, then this DIY sensor may be a good fit. But if I want to know the current state of a window or for how long this window was in that state, then this DIY temperature and pressure sensor will not be a good fit and traditional door and window sensors should be used instead. So, in general, I can suggest to test this and to see if it is working good for you. Just download my PDF where everything is well described. Watch this video once again as additional helper and give this sensor a try. It is a lot of fun and everything will cost you less than $10. Play around with the IIR filter and let me know in the comments, is it working for you? And if it does, you can just type hashtag pressure owned. And I'll know for what are you talking about and I'll congratulate you personally. If you want to become one of my students and learn how to make smart sensors for home assistant, just like this, and to join a private community of like-minded people, just download the PDF and I'll send you more info on how you can do that. Now. Check this video where I'm showing how to create an ultrasonic waterproof sensor that is working perfectly with Home Assistant. Thanks for releasing the pressure with me. I'm Kiryu and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!